Hello, I'm François Caron, and welcome back to a Dining Room Table Quickie. In this episode, I'll be checking out the Windows 7 as installed on my EPC 900 HA, which was a suggestion by a YouTuber who uh, left a comment on uh, one of my 900 HA uh, reviews and suggested that I actually try running Windows 7 on it, on the 900 HA. All right, so for boring statistics, we'll start with that. Uh, the boot times to the login screen is 37 seconds, to the desktop it's 55 seconds, and to a usability status, which is where the machine stops working for itself and lets you do some work, 1 minute and 20 seconds. The working devices include the video driver, the mouse driver, the sound driver, the wireless drivers. All these are the default drivers, as well as the USB and SDHC card reader. So everything was working fine, but limited in its functionality compared to loading the original drivers on the machine. Non-working devices include the webcam, the ACPI, or the chipset, the wired Ethernet, and the FN keys, which control the volume level and the screen's brightness. The bugs I've encountered up to now, uh, the AVG antivirus uh, update blanked out the screen and froze up the system, forcing me to reboot. The start menu froze up once when I was trying to do two things at once. The extension of known file types are still hidden. I consider that a bug because by hiding the extensions, you, somebody could actually accidentally install a virus on the computer. And the user access control is still annoying, but now its annoyance is adjustable. So other things, the sleep works. Hibernation I haven't tested. The installation creates two partitions, a 200 megabyte uh, boot partition, I believe. And the remaining space is used for the operating system and the uh, data. The Windows Experience Index is 2.0, that's 2.0 for the hard drive, 2.2 for the processor, 2.3 for the aero graphics, 3.0 for the gaming graphics, and 4.4 for the memory. The installation created a clean desktop on install. In fact, the few things that don't belong here are the two icons I have here, as well as the uh, open office icon here, the Steam icon, and the antivirus icon. The icons that are part of the installation include the Action Center, the battery, the wireless Ethernet, which worked on the very first shot, as well as the volume level. The clock includes both the date and the time, and we have an extra button here, which is the new position of the Show Desktop button. It's no longer on the left side here. On the left, we have the Start menu, which is traditional Vista look. The Internet Explorer, the... Uh, Windows Explorer, and finally the Windows Media Player. And on the desktop, it only put on a recycle bin and a send feedback icon. So pretty clean for an install. The install recognized the screen resolution immediately, uh, no problems there. And, the, uh, and during the installation process, the machine uh, rebooted three times during the process, which was normal because it was doing different things at each step. And it installed flawlessly. Uh, I was up and running in no time at all. Its look and feel is still Vista, unfortunately. Let's face it. This is basically, Windows 7 is basically what Vista should have been in the first place. Uh, Vista is a total mess that should never have existed. Unfortunately, Microsoft was in, was in such a rush to release it that they never bothered fully testing it. By comparison, the Windows 7's beta version, even though it has a few hiccups, is actually a much better performer than uh, Vista ha could ever have hoped to be. So what I'm hoping is that once Windows 7 is released, I'm hoping that Microsoft does a goodwill gesture and actually offer Windows 7, an equivalent Windows 7 version, to everybody who ended up with a Windows Vista on their machines. Because frankly, it's like uh, Vista may turn a lot of machines into, well, bricks. Not literally, but when you try to work on it, it sure feels like a brick. The only hiccup I had with the, in terms of a serious bug, uh, which you might call it, is with my media player, the Zoom player, where uh, when I try to open up a uh, video file on my server, which is actually just a desktop machine, normally it only takes five seconds to open up a video file uh, on, a, on the server through the wireless connection on any of my machines, including the 900 HA. But under Windows 7, it actually took 30 seconds for the, file, for the video to start playing. So it's something there that has to be resolved. Let's just take a, take a look at what we have here. They include a fish as a desktop, real nice. Now if we go to the bottom here, we see the icons of the open office as well as the Firefox already running. Now I found there's a little bug in it. After a while, it sort of times out and 
it actually forgets what was last shown on the screen after a couple of minutes. So let me just start this up again. I'll just go here just to bring it up and minimize it. Okay, now we're in a state where it actually will actually show what it's supposed to show. You put your mouse on it and it shows a little pop-up. Move the mouse on the little pop-up and it brings up the window. Move the mouse out of the little pop-up and the big window disappears. If you move to the next one, this is the Firefox application, but I have two windows set up. That's how I run my Firefox. I'm all, I don't run it with tabs. I, run it per, I prefer to run it in, in multiple windows. And the same thing, if you move it to one window, you, one small uh, pop-up window, you get the big window. Move it to the other pop-up window, you get the other big window. Move it off, they disappear. Move it off completely, the whole thing disappears. That's actually very useful, especially... On a, on, a, on a netbook or a UMPC where your screen real estate is very limited. In this case, it's very easy to... You can have a, a good decent amount of icons at the bottom here and you'll still be able to find your applications pretty quickly and not have the whole thing run off the screen or cause the, uh, the taskbar to increase in size. So pretty decent on that end. I even have a... I even installed a game here. Unreal Tournament 2004. I had to do the same thing here as I did under Windows XP, which is to reduce all the performance settings to their minimum values and mon manually change the uh, screen resolution so they'll play in the 1024 by 600 window. But aside from that, it seems to be playing pretty much the same way as uh, under Windows XP. So we'll just go into the instant action and just take a look at what it looks like. Now, I know you're not hearing any of the sound from the computer. That's because it's not plugged. I haven't plugged it into the camera. So, you know, I just have to trust me that it works. Try the death match and just let it play by itself. So, essentially, that's it. It's, uh, basically, it works. Uh, Windows 7 does work on the machine. And it definitely seems to be working reasonably well, although not perfect. But still, it, it's, it's a better version, so there's still some development work to, uh, that needs to be done to finish off the job. But already it's at a pretty decent level, and it's definitely a better performer than uh, Windows Vista could ever hope to be. So that's it for this uh, little... Let's see, see if somebody else is doing something here. Well, that's it for this uh, this little quickie. If you want a more uh, a more an extensive uh, review of uh, Windows 7 performance on uh, different UMPCs and uh, netbooks, I suggest you check out the uh, JKK's uh, video, uh, JKK from JKK Mobile, where he's testing it out on uh, three different tiny computers and has his own opinions of what he thinks of it. On my side, I. I still think it's, uh, how can I say, it's still lipstick on a pig in my book. It's Windows 7 is still Vista 2.0. It's, it's the Vista that we should have had. And it is an improvement, although there's still some work to do, but I sincerely hope that Microsoft does the right thing and give Windows 7 for free to everybody who's got stuck with Vista. Because frankly, releasing Vista in the state that it's in right now does... For a large company like Microsoft, there's really no excuse for this kind of behavior. So that's it for this little quickie. I'm Francois Caron. Thank you for watching.